Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and today's video is another episode of our Wix Studio Simplified series. So in this series, I help simplify Wix Studio and for today's specific video, we are gonna be covering breakpoints. Let's go ahead and get started. So here in Wix Studio, we have a nice little website basically built from the sections that come pre-designed inside of Wix Studio. And what I want to cover in today's video is these breakpoints right up here. So for these breakpoints, we have three options here by default. We have desktop, we have tablet, and we have mobile. And when I click on them, you'll notice that it switches over to that specific breakpoint. Also, if we click those three dots next to the breakpoint icons, we have the option to add up to six different breakpoints. So if we wanted a secondary desktop breakpoint, we could easily do that just by clicking this little add button right here. And we could edit these by changing the sizes. So maybe instead of 1000 to 1280, maybe we wanted to do 1440. And then when we press done, it kind of updates the rest of them. So if we come over here, this is gonna be the breakpoint for 1440 and above. So this is what it's gonna look like. And then if we want to switch over to the smaller desktop, one, we can go ahead and click that and we can test the responsiveness of our website here as well. I will say, if you are coming from Editor X, one big change is in Editor X, you used to be able to grab these little handles and move through the different breakpoints. In Wix Studio, that is not currently possible. So you actually have to click over to the breakpoint you're trying to view and then you can kind of resize again. It's just one extra click. And I actually do kind of like this. I will say like when Wix Studio first got released, I wasn't too big of a fan of this feature, but after playing with Wix Studio for a while, I do think it is kind of nice. You'll also notice that, let's say if we're over here and I drag this in and I let go, it goes back to the editing size that we have set. And you'll notice that this breakpoint is blue when I'm clicking on them. The little icon is blue. And that's basically telling us that this is a page breakpoint. So every section on this page is gonna share all of the same breakpoints. So no matter what section I'm choosing, they're all gonna be sharing the four breakpoints. Now, one thing I do wanna cover, even though I kind of covered this in an earlier episode of the series, is master sections actually have their own set of breakpoints. For example, if I add a brand new section here, and just for fun, let's just give it a background color, and we can save this as a global section. You know, we'll call this blue. Um, you'll notice when I click on this section, it now has like this green border around it. And up here, you're gonna notice it has a green icon. Now, if I go ahead and let's just delete this breakpoint here, um, you'll notice that we now only have three. But if I go ahead and click on a page section, not a global section, then you'll notice that we have the four and it's also blue. So master sections can actually have their own set of breakpoints completely independent from breakpoints for your pages. And the last thing I kind of want to cover here is if we go to a completely different page, like let's just go to this page really quickly, you'll notice that we have three breakpoints again. So the breakpoints that you create on one page doesn't carry over to all of your pages across your website. If you're building a website that has different breakpoints, you will have to create those different breakpoints on each of the individual pages. Now, what I will say though, is for the most part, I rarely ever actually have to use the additional breakpoints. That's just an option that you have. For the most part, especially here in Wix Studio, you can get away with just one desktop breakpoint, one tablet, and one mobile. There are always gonna be websites that will have exceptions, of course, but I would say for the most part, you're safe with just the three default breakpoints. I will say that I think it's super beneficial that your global sections, like your headers, your footers, and just sections that you set as global have independent breakpoints because sometimes those sections can be a little bit more complicated and you need to perfect those because global sections typically are sections that you want to appear on multiple pages. So you really wanna make sure that those 
are looking nice and tidy. And if you have to create additional breakpoints to make that happen with those, you don't want those other breakpoints to cause more work for you on the other pages. So I personally find that breakpoints independent for global sections is a fantastic addition. And I think you guys will too. But that's basically going to wrap it up for today's quick little video. If you all did like it, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.